chapter two summary. With chapter two, you have slope intercept form is right here. The M is your slope, which I call your movement. The B is your Y intercept, which is your beginning, B for beginning and for movement. Um, you have something called slope, which is rise over run. The rise is the change in Y. The, X, the run is the change in X, because X axis goes this way, Y axis goes up and down. So you have this formula. It's going to be with these problems. Your slope right here. So if I want to find the slope between these two points, I could graph it like this, or I could use this formula right here. For these two coordinates, this is x1, y1. This is x2, y2. First coordinate, second coordinate. All we did is we took, according to the formula, you took y2 minus y1, or the second y minus the first y, which gives you 4. And we took the second x minus the first x, so negative 2 minus 2 would be negative 4. When you reduce that, it's negative 1. The slope is negative 1. Now you could also plot the two points like I did here, make a line, and then calculate the slope. And notice it's down 4 over 4, which is the same thing when you reduce to negative 1. So either way works to do the formula or to do the graph. It's just one time, sometimes during problems, one way is better than another. Here are your four different types of slope. You have a positive slope uphill, negative slope downhill, zero slope flat, and undefined is a cliff. Always be smart enough to spot that there's a mistake maybe if your graphs or whatever do not agree. If you have a negative slope, it should be going downhill. Things like that. There should be logic to check yourself. If I want to graph this equation, it's right here, you first need to change it to y equals, so you minus a 3x over, divide by negative 4. Here's your new equation. There are quite ways to graph this equation in this form, but we're not going to do that right now. There's your beginning. Sorry, there's your beginning, negative 1. There's your movement, slope, 3 fourths. So it began at negative 1, and I went up 3 over 4. That's my slope. Moved up 3 and always to the right 4. That is a positive slope. That is my graph. Now, what's going to happen is you also have the graphs over here, shaded graphs. And that's when you have these inequalities, less than and greater than. So this one right here, you can rewrite as y is less than 1x, because there's 1x plus nothing. So many people struggle with this graph right here. They just don't know how to do it. But this is simply this. So we began at 0. We went up 1 over 1. There's a the graph. It's dotted because it's just less than. If it was less than or equal to, it would be solid. You shaded less than means below. So you go to your graph and just go down and shade. If it was greater than, you go to the graph, go up and shade. But now you shade the bottom, so all coordinates below this dotted line work for this equation. If we're doing this one right here, it's or equal to it, so it's a solid line. It begins at negative 1. Slope is 2, so we went up 2 over 1. Solid line. It's greater than or equal to, so from the graph you go up. You go up, shade that side. If it was less than, you go down, shade down here. And then here's your two special graphs. X is greater than or equal to negative 1. Greater than or equal to is solid. You put X at negative 1, so it's a solid line at negative 1. The greater than side, there's no top or bottom here, so you just got to choose which side has greater values. And logically, it would be the right side of a graph would be the larger values. Where here, it's less than dotted line at Y is 2 and less than would be below. So this one's obvious, top and bottom. This one doesn't have a top and bottom. And lastly, <coughs> here's your two things. If you have a less than or equal to or greater than or equal to, it's solid. If you have a less than or greater than, you have a dotted. <coughs> so make sure you, when you get inequality signs, make sure you shade top or bottom, or in this situation, left or right. And it's an equal sign, you just graph it. And when it's slope, calculate the slope or make a graph to find the slope. Here's your formula for slope. Here's your slope-intercept form, which is how we graph most graphs in this class.